Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this uh, video, we are going to show you how to unpivot a database or a matrix. So sometimes when people are not aware of how to create databases for better Excel usage, they create a matrix. So a matrix is when you have data or headers in the rows, and then you also have headers in the columns. So this is something that you really cannot use a pivot table on because it's technically already pivoted, okay? So our goal is to sort of like reverse this and bring this back into table format or range format. So to better visualize, this is what I want this data to become. So instead of being a, uh, a matrix style, I want it to be tabular. I want it to have columns wherein I have the city, the month and then the value and now it's in columnar form and if your data is in columnar form then you can perform many things to this already you can create pivot tables you can create pivot charts subtotals and other things you can do in excel you can v look it up you can do a sum if and so on unfortunately this structure cannot do a lot of things because it's already structured okay it's not it's not a row anymore so let's do that okay so the first thing that i want is it's better to convert this first into a table so right now it's still a range of cells so i will press Control t on my keyboard and that will pull up the create table pop-up and then in the create table pop-up it will then detect that you have the table over here make sure that everything in your table is selected and then you have to make sure that this one is checked. My table has headers. And then click OK. So that will transform our range of cells into a table. So next, once we have converted this into a table, we have to click any one cell within the table. And then we have to go to data. And then under data, we have to get the data, Okay, sort of like send this. To Power Query. So to send a table to the Power Query tool of Excel, you have to go to Data, and on the left side, you have to select okay which data source you're getting your data from. And the thing is, we already have the data over here, so we're just going to select from Table. And then because your cell is selected okay on this uh, table, then Power Query will know that this is the table that you want to send. Okay, to the Power Query tool. And now you can see that my Power Query is already loading. And I have a copy okay, of the table okay, in Power Query. So what you have to do is uh, you have to click okay, or click the first column okay, because this is going to be the, um, the basis of our table that we're going to create. Okay, so you have to click the first column and then in the Power Query tool under Transform, there is a button there that says Unpivot Columns. You have to drop it down. Okay, oops, let me do that again. So I have to click the first column and then I have to go to the Unpivot column and select Unpivot Other Columns. So we want to remove okay, the other column from being pivoted. So except for this column here, it's going to be our basis column. So I'm going to click unpivot other columns and Power Query will then distribute okay, the numbers into a table format like this. So now you could see that it's already in the format that we are targeting to do. So from here, we can rename the columns like this one, column one, double click it, okay? Just double click the um, header here so that you can rename it as city. The one that says attribute, will change it into month. And this one, instead of the word value, we're going to change it to amount. So we're seeing that it also correctly identified the type of data for each of the columns. So the first one is text data. Same with the month, same with the amount, which is in the number data. And just in case, okay, Power Query fails to correctly identify the 
correct data type for that column, you can simply click here and choose the correct uh, data type. But now it seems I'm okay with my um, unpivoted report. So I will now go to home and then under home, I will click on the left side, close and load. So now I am going back to Excel and Power Query will be creating okay, a new worksheet. Okay, it's uh, supposed to do that. And I now have here my data, okay? The original data, I mean, and I have the new data that I have over here. So now we have the uh, unpivoted okay, version of my report. I could then do things here. I could insert a pivot table and easily do things that you already know about uh, pivot tables because it's already in a format that you can use pivot tables with. And just one quirk that uh, you can also explore when you have this kind of uh, table is that this table is actually still connected to the original data source. So what do I mean by that? So let's say that I'm going to add another column, another data here. So let's say I'm going to put here, um, I'm not sure of what other uh, CT, so let's just put another one here. And then I'm going to put numbers. Okay, so I'm just randomly putting numbers over here. And now the table is uh, already updated with a new row of data, okay? And I will go back to my table. So I added uh, Narita and it's not yet here, of course, but if I right click on the table and hit refresh, so it will sort of like reload the data from the original data source and perform the same procedure of unpivoting this table over here without you doing it anymore you just have to refresh and let's examine if the new data is here okay there you go so it's going to be added over here so the same thing will happen if i add another column in this table you will uh, see that when you refresh this table then it will pick up okay the new data that you have and now that's it. I hope it helped you solve your problems in Excel. And actually, you can also do this in Power BI, but I use Excel to perform the task. But for now, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to use the comment section and I'll try my best to answer your question as soon as I can. And if ever um, you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps us. It keeps us motivated to create more videos for you. But for now, this is it. And I'll see you in the next video.